That's good. For the weekend warriors such as myself, uh, who get nicked up over the weekend from doing uh, team sports like hockey or Spartan races, um, please put this controversy to bed for me once and for all. When do I use ice and when do I use heat? Another good question, one I get a lot. Um, there's confusion among primary care doctors and internists about that as well. Um, sort of, you want to think about ice after activity or heat after you've kind of been sedentary. Um, so if something happens or if you do something, you're out playing, you sprain your ankle or you get bruised, you want to use ice. And the purpose of using ice is to reduce swelling and reduce blood flow. So after an injury or after an aggravation, your body's tendency is to increase blood flow um, and increase swelling. Um, that's counterproductive to you sort of progressing with whatever you're doing. So ice helps to reduce blood flow and reduce swelling. If you apply heat in that situation, you're going to do the, the opposite. You're going to increase blood flow and make your swelling worse. So the role for heat is someone with a chronic back injury or neck injury who wakes up stiff in the morning or is sitting at their desk all day and gets up and they feel tight and stiff, you put a heating pad on um, and that will help increase blood flow and start to re relax some of your muscles. Um, it's important that either with ice or heat, um, you don't apply ice directly to your skin um, and that the heat's not obviously too hot. You can cause damage to your skin in either situation. And you wanna make sure that if you have any sensory issues like from diabetic neuropathy, um, to not apply either of those to anywhere you can't feel because um, they, although they're safe and very effective, they can cause some injuries to you as well.